Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition. Lift off. We are T plus 40 seconds into flight and Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from pad 40 at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, carrying our Starlink payload to its targeted drop off orbit. Moments ago, we did throttle down our engines in preparation for max Q. And that is the maximum aerodynamic pressure, which is the largest structural load that the vehicle will see. That's coming up here in a few seconds. Max Q. And there's that call out that we have just passed through Max Q. In about a minute, we will have three events happening back to back. The first of which will be main engine cutoff or MECO. This is where all nine M1D engines shut off to slow the vehicle down in preparation for the second event, which is stage separation. Stage separation is where the first stage separates from the second stage with the first that stage first stage starting to make its way back to earth for landing and stage two continuing on its journey with the third event called SES-1 or second engine start one and that's where the MVAC engine lights up on the second stage and propels the second stage along with the Starlink satellites to its drop-off orbit, orbit. We are at T plus two minutes and five seconds so we're just about 25 seconds away from those three events. Again, that is Miko stage separation and SES-1, or second engine start one. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. And there you can see on your screen, on the left screen, we had main engine cutoff and stage separation. On your right screen is the second stage MVAC engine lighting up glowing bright red there. And it is a bit dark on the East Coast. But you can see on your left screen that first stage, those grid fins are deploying. And on your right screen, we have fairing deploy coming fairing up separation here. Separation confirmed. And there is that confirmation of fairing deploy. Now let's see if those fairing halves can be recovered by our recovery ships, Mistree and Mischief today.